Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching jQuery for Beginners Lesson 15 and in this video I want to talk about event binding. Okay then gang, so as I've already talked about in my JavaScript for Beginners playlist, which by the way I'll leave a link to down below in the description, events are at the heart of any modern web application. If you want to click a button on a web page, that's an event. You want to scroll down the web page a little bit, that is also an event. You want to hover over an element, that is also an event. Pretty much anything you do, guys, on a website is an event. And we can wire jQuery up to listen to those events and then perform certain actions when things happen on that website. For example, I have a button on a website, yeah? I can wire up jQuery to listen to the click event of that button so that when someone clicks it, the content expands, right? That is jQuery wiring up that event listening out for it, and when it happens, performing some function to react to it, okay? Now, in vanilla JavaScript, it's always been a little bit tricky to handle these events in any kind of consistent manner, at least, across all browsers. And even though modern browsers have, to some degree, standardized the whole way they handle events, it's still not perfect, especially if you want your website to be backwards compatible and support older browsers like IE8 or even IE7, okay? And a lot of clients, guys, do want that. So, enter jQuery. <laughs> jQuery to the rescue once again, making event handling extremely easy to do. And it also offers us a way to react to them consistently and smoothly with the same effects over all browsers. So guys, you no longer have to worry about cross-browser issues when it comes to binding events. And at the heart of it, guys, is just two very, very, very simple methods on which binds an event to matched elements and off which unbinds events from matched elements. All right then, so let's do a little example. What I wanna do is bind some events to these three li tags right here, the points of sale, so that when someone clicks one of them, uh, we'll make it highlight or change the background of it to say to the user, look, you selected this one, yeah? Let's do that. So there's two steps to doing this. First of all, we need to grab these li tags and store them in a variable. And then we need to bind a click event to those li tags and have a function called to react to that click event when it happens, all right? So let's do that. First of all, we'll grab these li tags and store them in a variable. So they're in this points of sale section right there. So we'll use jQuery to store these. We'll say var my li's equals, and then, oops, jQuery and then it's the points of sale section, then the li tags within it. So that, my friends, has taken all of those li tags, one, two, three, and stored them in this variable. Now all we need to do is call this on method on this. So we can say my on, and then we can attach an event to each one of these li's. And that's gonna attach it to all three, because remember, this returns an array of these, those jQuery objects, all right? It's returning all of those li tags. So, we need to pass through at least two parameters to this method. The first one is the event type. Now, I want to attach a click event to the li tags, but this could be click, load, hover, submit, scroll, resize, etc. All right, there's tons of events. So what I'll do in fact is leave a link down below to a website which is gonna show you tons of different events that you can play around with in your own time. We'll do a click event. Now I'll do a comma and the second parameter we need to pass through is the callback function. And this is the function that is gonna fire when someone clicks one of these thing, uh, things here, right? When this event happens. So if I would have pre defined my function up here, does something like this, function, my function, and then filled out all that, blah, 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 then I could just go in here and say, my function, call that function up there, and then fire that when someone clicks these, all right? But I have not done that, so what we'll do is just write the function out in here itself. So we'll say function, and this can be an anonymous function, you don't have to name it, and we'll come down here and we'll set up all the magic. So, what I'm saying here is get the LIs. When someone clicks one of these LIs, fire this function, okay? So, what I wanna do is put a background color to whichever LI they click. Now, we know we can use the this keyword, 
to refer to whatever object is currently in context. Now, if I click this, this event is firing, and this keyword right here will refer to whichever element I click. So I could use this to refer to the li tag which has been clicked, yeah? Now, what I need to do is wrap this up in the jQuery wrapper like this, because remember, when you wrap something up in the jQuery wrapper, it gives us access to those jQuery methods and properties. So now I can use the .css jQuery method on it and change the CSS. And all I'm gonna do, guys, is give this a background of pink. That's all I am gonna do, like that. And if I refresh over here and click one of these, now we can see that pink background when I click them. Cool. All right then, but I wanna make a slight alteration to this. What I want is so that when someone clicks one of these, they can no longer highlight another, all right? So they can only select one. So for example, let me refresh again. I click this one. Now, if I was to click this, I don't want it to highlight. If I was to click this, I don't want it to highlight. So to do that, what we need to do is unbind the event once it's happened once, right? because we've clicked it once to begin with, then we unbind it so that it can't be done again. So to do this, we need to use this off method. So when someone clicks it, first of all, we'll change the background of whichever element they click. Then under here, we'll unbind the event from all of these li tags. So to do that, all we need to say is my li.off and then specify which event we want to turn off, which is the click event right there so I'll save that refresh over here click one and now the others don't work cool because we've unbound that event I'll do one more I click this one now if I click these it doesn't work awesome so that guys is the on and off methods if you have any questions about this whatsoever feel free to comment down below otherwise guys don't forget to subscribe share and like and I'll see you in the next video